Yeah. Do you want to tell them how you're feeling? How are you feeling? Good morning guys, so we're on our way to Children's Hospital to check in Wells for his surgery today. They called us a little while ago and asked us to come in early because they're running early. So we're actually about to be there a half hour earlier than what was originally scheduled, which I think, I mean, I would love for him to have like an extra half hour out of his cast, but then he's also pretty hungry right now, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and thirsty and. That school is out. This is Washington State. I, I know, I thought it was already out though. And I remember get, ending school on like May 15th. Maybe it's finals and stuff. I don't know. Here, check out the sorority houses and stuff. Sorority Rock. Or fraternities and sororities. What do you call those? What do you call them? Sororities and fraternities? Yeah, but they're called. Frats? Frat. No. Or Greeks? Greek life. It's called something. I can't think of what it's called. But this whole area is uh, Washington University. Dub. I want that W, that big W back there for Wilson's room. <laughs> So we just got home. Uh, it was a very long, long car ride home because of the traffic from Seattle back to Tacoma was intense. It was close to rush hour. Here's Felsey. He's doing pretty good. Uh, when he woke up from the anesthesia, he was not happy, which is understandable. It's, it's okay. She didn't do, she didn't do anything to your car. Oh, it's fine. So just very emotional, a lot of tears. Um, he, every time that he's gone under anesthesia, he has woken up almost instantly, which can make, and so, so instead of being gradual, gradually waking up out of anesthesia, he tends to wake up very quickly, uh, which can make anyone pretty, mm, my eyebrow today, 
I didn't do a good job with this eyebrow today, so ignore that. But that can basically make anyone really not happy. Long car ride home. He was very emotional. We had all of his snacks and his drinks and his cartoons. Uh, I think he's just very overtired right now and he's just really not happy with anything. We tried to get him to eat here, just a little bit, a sandwich for lunch or dinner and he wasn't really feeling it. So I think he still just kind of has some of the effects of anesthesia still happening and he really needs to, <laughs> to go to bed pretty soon here. Brandon just left to go down the street to the store to get us some dinner because we got home pretty late tonight. No time to cook dinner. Don't really want to cook dinner, to be honest. Tomorrow when Wells is feeling better, we'll kind of show you his cast a bit better. Hi. Um, yeah, do you want to tell them how you're feeling? How are you feeling? Pretty drooly, very tearful, but I get it. I would be too. I would be too. So tomorrow we'll go through and we'll show you how his cast is a little bit different than the one he previously had on. It's a little bit different, like shaped. Um, and some really good news that we got when the doctor took an x-ray of him in the cast and some things that the doctor told us yesterday that we didn't want to bring up on camera yesterday, but a very good prognosis for Wells and his future cast. So we will go over that tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good night. We're exhausted. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.